Hello my darlings, it's Dion Dean. Welcome back to another video. We are heading into the holidays and so it is my responsibility to make sure that your face is glam for these different events that we're going to. Even if you're staying home, let me not say for those of you that are not going anywhere, that's fine because we probably won't be going anywhere either. I would love to say that we're going to be in New York or Chicago or Toronto or London, but looks like we're going to be right here in Fort Lauderdale. So even if you're home just celebrating by yourself, get dressed up. You, I'm giving you permission to get dressed up to be by yourself okay let's do this first and foremost this video is sponsored by dossier i've gotten a few messages from a few i've gotten a few messages from those of you who have become dossier fans that it indeed is amazing so thank you dossier for sending me this scent or sending me these scents i went to the website looked at a few different um options and just sent them the ones that i like so i don't know what they sent me let's take a look again you guys know that i'm all about the packaging so let's unbox the dossier package so this they have sent me powdery hawthorn which is inspired by oh by tom ford metallic Ooh, the perfume. So I don't know if you, I think I showed you guys my collection before, but I am a huge Tom Ford fan. But these Tom Ford scents <laughs> can get it to the $300 range. This is my favorite. This is Neroli Portofino Aqua. My husband, and I'm not, I'm not buying them myself. These are, I told my husband, listen, this is, this is your territory. I'm not spending any of my own money. Um, Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. Just to give you the receipts, let you know that I am a Tom Ford girl. And then this is Tom Ford Black Orchid. So I have Black or Orchid, Velvet Orchid, and the Neroli Portofino. So let's see if this... Oh, and I get the little get the little um, sample too to take on vacation. So this is Powdery Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Top notes... I don't know, say ad adhides, neroli, orange blossom, middle oats, hawthorn, helotrope flower, base notes, vanilla, ambrette, and peru balsam. I wish I was one of those people that like can smell it. Like when you go to Saxon Neiman's, they're always telling you about the notes, and I'm like, I just like how it smells. I don't really know what's in it. All right, so let's smell it. And I've never smelled this one before, but the thing about Tom Ford scents is they all for and I don't know if any of these are musks, but they all are musks from what I have been told. So I'm gonna see if this has that same. No, this doesn't smell like a musk at all. Powdery Hawthorn. I like this. So let's let's not spray it until we see what else we got. So we have Tom Ford Metallique Powdery Hawthorn. Let's, before I spray it all over, this may not be the one I wanna spray. And let's look at the second one that I got this month. This is inspired by, oh, okay, Oriental Oak Moss. Top notes, bergamot, orange, bergamot, whichever, orange, peach, middle notes, jasmine, rose, patchouli. I'm not really a patchouli girl. Something about Chicago and patchouli, I don't know, street vendors. Um, <laughs> base notes, oak moss, vanilla, vetiver. So we all know what Coco Mademoiselle smells like. Let's see if this... Because, I mean, especially now in the holiday season, going through Macy's or Dillard's, we've all smelled Coco Mademoiselle. Hold on. Yeah. The only Coco, the only Chanel parfum I have is the number five. So, does this smell like Macy's at Christmas? Yes, it does. So, this is not, this is not my favorite kind of scent. Is it beautiful? Will I wear it? Absolutely. But this is not my go-to. All right, so it's very nice, but I think I'm going to spray. So this was again, Oriental Oak Moss. And do I keep these in the boxes? I mean, I'm not ashamed to say that I do. We see the other two that I got last month. With I like unboxing, it makes me feel good when I'm going out and I unbox and this makes me feel luxurious. So let's spray this. That does smell good. It's just not what I'm feeling today. Let's spray that there. I'm not going to spray in my Vuitton earrings because <laughs> that will ruin them. I'm going to spray that there. And I'm just going to keep it on. I'm going to keep it out because when I'm done with this video, I don't know if I told you this. Did I spray my hair? That's why I have this is turning into a, a, um, con um, a perfume thingamajiggy perfume video but it's really not so I spray my hair this is 
by Rado Mojave Ghost. Oh, can you see that? So I have that spray and then I have Balda Freak. So I layer Balda Freak. I may have told you this, this may be Instagram, but I layer. So I'll put on the lotion, I'll put on the scent, and then I will spray my hair. So one of the great things that I do like about Dossier is because I believe they're 29, I should have researched this before I did the video, right? I believe they're 29 or 19. So for that amount of money, will I, I don't need a, a <laughs> I'm not going to get the hairspray and I'm not going to get the lotion. I will actually, I will actually spray this into a non-scented lotion and make that my perfume lotion and do that. And then I'll just spray this in my hair. So after the video is done, this is going to go into some lotion and in my hair. So let's get to makeup. <laughs> Now I'm going to put on sunscreen because I am going out today. I'm using Super Super Goop, but I actually just ordered off of Amazon the Cera, um, CeraVe. CeraVe? Yes, yeah, CeraVe. Um, I order so much CeraVe because I do have ex eczema and dermatitis, and Riley has a bit of eczema on the back of her on the back of her neck and in like the crooks of her arms. Um, and so I swear by that for for eczema. So I did figure I did find a sunscreen by CeraVe. Um, but I am using the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop, which acts very much like a primer. And so I use, I mean, we should all be using sunscreen, but especially because I get laser hair removal on my face, on my whole face and other parts of my body. <laughs> I'm hairless. Um, <laughs> TMI. Um, but because I do, um, we have to be very careful as women of color because there can be a lot of discoloration and hyper hyperpigmentation if we're in the sun without sunscreen with laser hair removal. So I will leave a link to some sunscreens down in the dis in the description box. I probably should have done up here. So vanity makes me not put sunscreen up here because I don't want my eyebrows to shift <laughs> and slide. So I will go in and put the sunscreen up there after I've done my eyebrows. I am going to continue to show you how I do my eyebrows because some of you love it. Some of you are just like, we've seen you do your eyebrows 500 million times. But for those of you who are still practicing, again, what do I do? Do it with me. We're going to draw the line on the bottom, our natural arch, and then where our eyebrows should be if we didn't pluck the heck out of them in the 90s. Class of 97, stand up right we just do a line meet the edge there and then I typically don't double dip but this brush I need to wash it let's be let's be real okay I need to wash my bro brushes I need to be staying home over the winter break washing my brushes this brush needs washing it's not as <laughs> it's not as brush like as it used to be this is smelling really really good I'm sorry, I'm like distracted. I'm like, ooh, that smells good. And you know what? I'm gonna say that if you're not doing anything and you're just staying home reading a book, still put on some some perfume. Why not? Why not? Sorry, a call was coming in. Oh, like decline. All right. So there's that eyebrow. And then let's do the second one. Because I'm going out in these streets, I'm trying to make them as identical. <laughs> If I was just like doing nothing, I would just put them on, but I'm trying to actually be presentable in these streets, so I don't want to look crazy. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time making these identical. Are they identical? <laughs> I don't know. All right, come on, guys. All right, there we go. Oh, I need to clean my brush. When you don't clean your brush, there's like all this residue on it, and that's what I'm fighting. So it takes longer to like get that perfect, you see, like it's not, <sighs> Dion, clean your brush today. Do not do another makeup tutorial without a clean brush. All right, I will do that. Okay, Lord. Okay, Holy Spirit, I hear you. All right, whatever, like it's, that's what it's gonna be. I'm too lazy to clean these brushes. <laughs> Let me try one more time to get this end part right here. All right, this is going to be what it's going to be. All right. So what look are we going for today? For the holidays, everybody 
wants from me at least everybody is so interested in like my red lips so i'm going to give you my red lip my favorite red lip that being said you can do a bold eye and a bold lip but i think i'm just gonna do a nude eye and a bold lip let's do that so this is my favorite palette this is the kkw so fire palette we've talked about this before why is it my favorite I love it because it has the oranges, it has one kind of um, pinky color, but it has the browns that I need. So I, I love it when I'm just doing like a no nonsense, um, no nonsense everyday eye. So we've talked about this before, but I'm gonna go into the oranges, a little bit of the browns in my crease. There we go. Just gonna go in there. There we go. There we go. And I'm gonna do matte because I'm gonna have this bold red lip and I don't want like anything shiny or reflective. I want my lips to be the star of the show. You guys are gonna see what I'm talking about when I put on if I can find, I don't think I can find my flat brush. Come on, Dion, where's your flat brush, darling? There we go. All right. So I'm going to put on, let's do it that way. I'm going to put on this color, which is close to the color of my actual lid. See that? Just a dust of color. You're probably like, Dion, why are you even putting on anything? Because your natural lid, oh, I didn't put concealer on my, okay, it's all right, whatever. I'm not going to be wearing this all day. I'm just going to target people. <laughs> because your natural lid has oil. And so, it'll to me, when you're not wearing anything on the lid, and it's a beautiful, healthy glow, but there is a glow coming off of your eyelid. And I don't want that. I want it to be full matte. If I was going out for the entire day, I would have put on concealer. I forgot to put on concealer. But again, I'm not going out all day, okay? So just going to give a little bit of depth going into this brown on the end here, this one here. Just going to get a little bit of depth. Okay. I want it to be, and I know you're probably like, Dion, but it looks like, it doesn't even look like you have anything on. Well, for me, with makeup, everyday makeup, I, who's going out with like a full, go, okay, let me not say that this is this is South Florida. They do go out with a full face, like a full scene face, a full green, purple <laughs> eyeshadow moment. Yes, they do do that. All right, I'm not going to smoke out the bottom or anything because I do not want my eyes to be the part, the, the highlight, the highlight. The star of the show. My lips are the star of the show. I'm going to put on some eyeliner. I'm going to put on my mascara, my foundation, and then we're going to come back with the lip. Give me a second. Okay, my darlings, I just put on my foundation. I am like, <laughs> when I tell you, look at this. When I tell you this is my favorite foundation, this is the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It has maybe like half a pump left. I have to go online and order some more, but oh my gosh. Now that the makeup is on, and I'm realizing I'm a little light. I need to go and spend some time um, at the beach. And you know what? I have not. I just put on this wig, and I realized that I have not put foundation or concealer on the wig so you can see like the white there I haven't colored it so I'm gonna take a flat brush with the foundation that I have on some some people use concealer because the concealer the consistency is a little thicker and I'm just gonna <laughs> do I need to give you guys a wig tutorial maybe that's next if you want me to do a wig tutorial let me know because I do have all of my wigs in Amazon for you guys because I get questions about my wigs all the time and like how I put them on and stuff like that. I don't, only when I'm like on vacation, I, and I rarely do that, glue them on. I ain't got time. Plus I change my hair so much. I get so bored. Nobody got time for gluing it. Anyway, that's not what y'all came for. 
Now that the makeup's on and I'm wearing this animal print, I don't know if I want to go red or do I want to go dark. This is by the lip bar. This is Boss Lady. I love the lip bar. Ah, uh, this is more like, hold on. I'm so not the best at this because I just want it open. I just, I should have done this before I started this video. Excuse me. This is more of like a cranberry. <laughs> Let me get my life together. This is a cranberry. See, look, Steelers was up, was quick. All right, this is the second time. I'm just doing it. This is the second time that I've gotten the Steeler color. This is in Beso. You guys asked me about my red. Because you guys asked me about my red lips so often, I'm going to do this. But on an ordinary average day, it's coming off more red on here. But it's actually, let me see. Yeah, it's more, this is like a true red. This is like a cranberry red. I will do another video this week or next and we'll 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 go dark okay so we'll do this i left the i'm gonna leave a link to all of my lippies in the description box and so if you want to get this before i do the video go ahead so again this is beso it's one of my favorite reds when i wear this red everyone's just like what are you wearing what are you wearing oh stila what you do to me and i love a brand oh, And this is also, let me not say that because it may not be for you. For me, I've mastered the art of like <laughs> wearing, but it's also a matte red, a liquid lipstick. So it shouldn't come off on your mask. All right. Ooh. So pretty. Oh. Mm. I probably should have done a lip scrub because I have some peeling in here. You can't see it. You guys can't see it. And I'm going to show you a trick because I have a little bit of a mistake over here. I'm going to show you a trick. Let this dry down a little bit. Oh, it's pretty. I didn't, <coughs> excuse me, I didn't show you this, but when you wear a red lip, go for a pink blush. So I didn't go for my ordinary NARS. I went for a pink blush and it's picking up the red in there. So here's the trick, guys. I don't want to pump any of this. <laughs> it's like one pump left. I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty or just take any concealer or any, um, any foundation. Hold on. I'm gonna put it on my concealer brush. Hold on, don't come out too much. God, come on. <sighs> Let me get over this poverty spirit and just buy another thing. <laughs> it's not coming out. All right, all right, all right. Don't come out too much. Got one pump left. So to make sure that you have like a really good line, look how beautiful it looks when it dries down. But you can see there's like some, <sighs> like it's bleeding a little bit and I do not put on a liner. So what you wanna do with the same foundation is just Go right into you kind of creating a lip. So even if you make a mistake, sorry, I can't talk and do this at the same time. See that? You can do it at the top too. Let's do that. Sorry, my mom just got on the phone. You may hear her calling Jamaica her daily calls <laughs> to my aunties. Did y'all talk yesterday? What the heck did two octogenarians got to talk about? Oh my Lord. All right. So there we have it. So this has been a long video, but I just like talking to you guys. So I don't, I don't mind. Let's give us big hair. I will leave a link to this wig below as well. Cause I know you're going to ask me to get that hair. We gotta get we gotta give them an LV moment. We gotta we gotta let them know, sis. Come on, let them know, sis. This has been good this year. <laughs> you buying LV earrings and whatnot. Oh, I love this. 
All right, so thank you for spending. It's probably like a 25 minute video, but I really just wanted to talk to you guys. So <sighs> pray for me as I pray for you. For those of you who have lost people who are just not feeling it this holiday season, you know, plain makeup, plain clothes, plain makeup, do whatever you got to do to get through. I, again, I'm going through it too. I'm still grieving the loss of my father. There's so many things that people have lost, whether it's a person, whether it's jobs, whether it's relationships. I just feel like we just need to exhale and just do whatever brings you joy this holiday season and do not apologize for any of it. All right, love you guys so much. I will leave a link to the wig, to the lips, to the eyes, to everything. I'm um, an especially dossier. Thank you again for sponsoring this video. And um, I'll leave a, everything in the description box. All right, I've talked to you all enough. Love you guys so much. Mwah. Bye.